metaverse. It's said to be the future of socialization and communication by the lizard man himself. The concept of people integrating into augmented or even virtual reality is definitely going to become reality no matter what. And in fact, VR chat is already like that. People meet there, people talk online there, all in their unique avatar. And then there are these big companies that just hopped in and took credit for this pre-existing internet culture and community like it's a trend they've made. Rent aside, to actually make the proposed metaverse practical, various technologies would need to be developed even more and integrated all together. And you can't really have future tech without any sign of AIs. So let me and today's sponsor AI Camp introduce you to 5 types of pre-existing AI research that are definitely going to have a huge impact in developing the metaverse. The first one is going to be 2 minute paper's favorite, physics simulation AIs. You can't really have a good AI VR experience without a good physics simulation. One of the reasons why AI physics simulation is so important is that compared to traditional physics simulation, it requires much less computational power by utilizing pre-trained models to generate the particle interaction instead of calculating them live. Since not everyone can afford a 3090, this is probably one of the most efficient options for generating good graphics and particle effects with very low computational power and render time. The second one is the NFT milker, GANs. Classically abused by money-hungry bonobos, generative adversarial network creates endless possibilities. Not only producing creative artworks, faces that do not exist, but also unique object designs. The ability of customization without any pre-programming or designing can literally give the virtual reality so much more refreshness and vibrance. A future technology would definitely be much better when asset reuse isn't common, or else it wouldn't really be a futuristic tech, it would just be any EA games. And as of last October, the level of Gen has just been elevated with the release of Style Gen 3. The revolutionary non-sticky synthesis just shows a much more structural awareness in the AI, and this tiny bit of difference between the last version, Stalgen 2, is just a sign of our progress for uncovering the mysterious hidden layers and its side effects. From the recent years of internet surfing, I realized that there are two types of AI research. The AIs that interest people, and the AIs where people want a practical solution. And the third we have is post-estimation. This technology is in high demand, higher than I thought, but none has made significant progress to be able to compete with the body suit tracking, but maybe soon. Right now we can't do those SAO stuff where you upload your consciousness to move around or have body suits on par with ready player one. So to be able to traverse through VR and interact with the objects, AI post estimation would be the key to an enjoyable virtual world experience. Monolens, dual lenses, trio lenses, you name it, the more accurate the post estimation, the better. But not everyone can afford anything dual lenses or above. So an accurate mono lens would prove to be more practical to capture post estimation and even maybe integrating this with the radio signal technique shown in this research paper can improve the accuracy with non-visual information too. The fourth one is object detection. Is it a muffin or is it a chihuahua? It'll be funny if you can walk a muffin and eat a chihuahua within an underdeveloped object detection. You really don't want to mess up the labeling as it can potentially be fatal in some cases. But another reason why object detection is going to come in handy is that it can determine the AR interaction between you and that single object. Things like turning your table into an AR workstation or any futuristic AR object interaction you can think of would be a key to an enjoyable user experience. The last one blew my mind the most out of all the research, and what you are seeing right now is actually not a video, but a synthesized view of a train based on 32 images taken at different angles. NERV, short for Neural Radiance Fields, is now a type of research focused on generating novel views based on the initial estimated camera points on the point cloud and generating new views from arbitrary camera poses, and of course with lots of training. The first NERV AI research was only started less than two years ago and this latest research called the ADOP really just blew every other nerve based research out of the competition with this shockingly accurate view synthesis. It even provides official VR support for viewing the synthesized scenery. 
Other than that, another latest research called Planet Souls also demonstrates a huge jump in novel view synthesis for complex individual objects. Blending this with scenery reconstruction, generating virtual world landscapes would be much easier. So if you ever want to actually walk around Mount Everest or to be honest virtually anywhere, Google Maps plus Nerf could definitely make it come true sometime soon. You know, Metaverse just sounds like one of the scuffiest evil corporate schemes out there and I only used Metaverse for clickbait purposes. But the AI technologies that could help to develop it deserves their own attention rather than it all being categorized under that fuzzy meaningless name. If any of these AI tech interests you and you want to learn more or even start learning AI, subscribe now for the latest AI tech or you can check out today's sponsor AI Camp, which offers an amazing summer camp opportunity for anyone under 18. AI Camp provides the route for young students to explore the AI field early on and find their passion before going to college and being obliged to build foundations like linear algebra and multivariable calc. Not knowing actually how fun the practical AI field is, studying these topics would be boring and it's very easy to feel like giving up. AI Camp not only provides a summer camp that is full time, a three week hands on learning experience, but students are also able to work in a small group to build and deploy an impressive AI product from end to end and this requires no prior coding experience. With explorations in natural language processing, computer vision, reinforcement learning, and more. There are also opportunities for career advice from tech speakers with the potential of future internships and scholarships, with 10% getting full scholarships and 60% getting partial scholarships from the previous year. I would definitely be thrilled to go if I had the chance when I was younger. Today, AI Camp is offering a unique opportunity to apply with a custom scholarship link down in the description. If you apply for their scholarship through this link, you will have a great chance of having your AI journey funded by the scholarship. The scholarship deadline is the end of March, so check out this amazing opportunity with the link down in the description. Thank you so much for watching. A big shout out to Andrew, Panther Modern, and many others that supports me through Patreon or YouTube. If you have any questions, feel free to join my Discord and ask there too. Follow my Twitter if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next one.